Hello there lords and ladies, I am the Mighty Gammon, and today we discover how to banish your ex-wife to a prison in South Sudan while playing big team battle in Halo Infinite. Let's begin. <laughs> It's no secret that Halo has always been an ultra-realistic modern-day military simulator. Infinite is no different. However, the store contains some of the sh**t cosmetics I've ever seen. They literally teabag the legacy of Halo Reach. In fact, they literally rip open the teabags and make you snort the black nectar so you can finally accept their lack of vision. Everyone uses these cosmetics though, so feel free to pay half the price of the main game for a pair of cat ears in order to finally fulfil your childhood dream of becoming a furry. But I like the cat ears. No you don't. They're cute. Why are they cute? Why? They're little Desu Desu what? Senpai Baka cutie I, flappy meows. No, no, bestiality in my videos. Not again, not after last time. Big team battle is the best mode in Halo. To argue with this is to bring shame upon your entire family. That's right, people who like ranked arena. There's a reason you have no friends. Please have a shower. Soap isn't illegal, you know. Big team battle is a 12 versus 12 mode. The increased team size means you can blame your teammates for even more of your mistakes. You can't aim for shit. It's your team's fault for not helping you shoot people. You keep wasting vehicles vehicles by dying within 30 seconds of getting in the driver's seat. Your team didn't act as meat shields so they allowed you to die. You can't get it up anymore? Why the hell are you asking me about this? See a doctor, what the fuck? The maps are some of the largest to ever feature in a Halo game. This means that you can now miss your sniper shots from further away so the enemy can't hear you crying. The issue here is you will not be getting anywhere fast on foot. Luckily, you have vehicles in all big team battle maps. These help your team traverse the environment faster than a middle-aged white woman trying to speak to the manager. The Warthog and Razorback are great for carrying your team around and causing complete carnage for around half a minute, before being destroyed by a crackhead with a harpoon gun who took a wrong turn while searching for Moby Dick. The Wasp has a nickname in the Halo community that is only known by veterans, a plane. Thank you, I'm here all week. Use this to support your team from the air. With great mobility and damage output, this vehicle can be used to rack up points. Or you might die almost immediately after crawling into the driver's seat. It's difficult to tell. Big Team Battle has a few modes. Slayer is when you fight the enemy team to get the most kills. Domination is when your team plays Slayer but there are shiny circles on the map for some reason. Capture the Flag is when your team plays Slayer but there are some flag-inspired decorations around the map. Stockpile is when your team plays Slayer- Oh look! a weapon. Now you will all pay. You will all pay. <laughs> right, I'm taking away your coffee. No, you don't. I'm taking away your coffee. I don't drink coffee. Uh, I know you are, but what am I? What are you on about? I took a shit in a fridge. You have abilities such as a grapple hook. These help you do the damage and the traversal around the map and on enemy units. Skill not required. Power weapons give you an edge over your opponents. When you shoot a skewer and miss, you really feel like the enemy is more scared than if you miss with a regular weapon. This makes them more likely to run away, giving you the more Moral victory. Now to the ultimate tactic, teabagging. Take it, take it, yes, yes, yes! 